So welcome, I found this beautiful book in a pile which was ready to be given off and I, thank God I just came across it and uh, I just read the title Polo in India and so many of these, uh, I uh, have these uh, lovely memories of attending these polo matches at the Jaipur Polo Ground near Delhi. So going through this it's very interesting it's like a small booklet uh, it is uh, the book cover is by Bhavani Singh of Kalvi one of India's young polo professionals in a ride off at the Jaipur Polo Ground New Delhi and uh, the book cover itself the front cover that is uh, these four gentlemen here uh, of the Jodhpur team 1925 from left to right is Thakur Prithi Singh of Bira, Maharaja Omed Singh, second, third, uh, Rao Raja Honat Singh, and we have Thakur Ram Singh. In the summer of 1925, Maharaja Omed Singh traveled to England accompanied by the extremely talented Jodhpur Polo team. Tatler described them as hot as mustard and the team went on to win all major polo tournaments of the season. So, and polo, well, polo is one of the oldest sports known to man, among the fastest and the most thrilling. Polo has been played for centuries by kings. It is India's contribution to the world of sport as it was here it, that the game was discovered and thereafter spread across the globe. This I'm reading from the back side of the cover. Now, uh, so this is what is written, which I've just read. Um, and it is Roli, um, Roli books. That is Luster Press Roli books. Uh, it's Polo in India by Jaisal Singh. So we see that it's written Polo in India. It's by... Jasil Singh and Priya Kapoor and the foreword is given by Yuvraj Shivraj Singh Jodhpur. So let's see what he ri writes in the foreword. This unique book tells us the story uh, from the earliest uh, we have, he writes, earliest incarnation of the modern game in Manipur India right up to India Manipur India right up to the present day from the British tea planters and army officers in India who first witnessed the game in the early 1800s to the Indian army which made an enormous contribution to keeping polo alive after independence this fast-paced and exciting sport has attracted a legion of loyal fans Traditionally a royal sport, the Indian princely states of Patiala, Jodhpur and Jaipur did much to advance the popularity of polo in the early 20th century, producing some truly iconic players. In the 1980s, the sport was revived by another princely state, Udaipur. Polo, polo in India chronicles the history of the game and its players from the early beginnings to modern times. So polo, as we see, is uh, polo as such is a book that uh, he's talking about, Shivraj Singh Jodhpur, Yuvraj. So uh, this is uh, written by polo player and commander Jasil Singh and supported by images from various private collections and international polo clubs and archives. This book is the only volume of its kind and a must for any devotee of this exhilarating sport and I truly agree with what's written here. Jasil Singh played his first chakkar of uh, competitive polo at age 14 and has been involved with the game ever since. As a keen historian with a particular interest in the origins and subsequent growth of the game, especially in India, Jasil Singh is a prominent figure on the Indian polo scene and a renowned commentator on the sport. So to be a commentator, you have to know the game very well. So he has represented the Jodhpur polo team among 
uh, others, both at home in India and extensively abroad. He recently formed his own team, Sher Bhag Tigers, which won the Rai Rajputana and Central India Cup and the Hermes Cup. In 2000, Jassal Singh established Sher Bhag, an eco-friendly luxury uh, tented camp just outside the Ran Ranthambore National Park in Rajasthan, which the Tatler Travel Guide listed as being among the best 101 hotels of the world. Priya Kapoor did her BA in history from Royal Holloway, UK, and her MSc in Media and Communications from the London School of Economics. A keen interest in history has led her to work in the capacity of photo researcher and editor for highly acclaimed books such as the Nehru's, then uh, Personal Histories and Made for Maharajas, uh, Design Diary of Princely India. So I'll be showing you in the next uh, uh, in the next episode a little more about this.